what's going on you guys it's your boy plex and today i'm going to give you the 50,000 mile review on my 2014 street glide special <laughs> So as you can see, I got 53,715 miles on here. Um, so it's a good time to do that 50,000 mile review. We're just gonna talk a little bit about it. Okay, so the first thing I really wanna say after 50,000 miles is, this is an extremely comfortable bike. I mean, uh, I've got the hammock seat on here, so it was like, I think 600 bucks or something like that, but extremely comfortable for long rides. I took this bike all the way across the country through the mountains. Rode, rode it to my wedding. <laughs> so, uh, definitely an extremely comfortable bike. The second thing I want to say is the powertrain. The powertrain after 50,000 miles is still smooth. The engine still feels smooth. The clutch still feels somewhat tight. Um, I've been through lots of brakes. I think I've replaced the brakes maybe like three or four times. I think four uh, altogether. But overall, uh, mechanically, the bike has been really sound. I haven't had too many major issues. I changed the oil myself. I always use Harley Davidson oil. I just started using the, the gear oil that they started making. It's extremely expensive, so I don't really know if it's worth it, but I don't know. They say it's supposed to be heavier and a little bit better for your transmission, so whatever. So as you can see, the paint really ain't holding up so great. Definitely got stains on the saddlebags here uh, from the bike probably going through some mud or something on the road and kicking it up and then the sun cooking it on. It's pretty rough. <laughs> uh, these are Vansa Hine Big Shot pipes uh, and they're actually losing their color too. They're losing their finish. There's some chips and stuff like that. So it's, uh, you know, this denim paint, they say it's meant to get beat up and withstand it. Uh, I mean, I guess that's so. It kind of just has a grungy look uh, anyways. So it's, it's, not, it's not anything special. I mean, you can really see the fading starting to happen on the front of the fairing though. And keep in mind, I mean, I keep this bike in my garage um all the time unless i'm riding it so it, it's fading just from being ridden that much um from just all the wear and tear and it can be extremely hard to get the bugs out i mean i didn't i didn't use bug slide uh, originally because i didn't even know about it but um definitely it's hard to get the bugs out of this denim paint for sure but i am really happy with the finish on the motor itself the chrome seems to have held up extremely well it still cleans up real nice when you buff it out um, so definitely good quality there as well as all the rest of the chrome on the bike it's just it's really good quality chrome and feels like it's going to last forever another major thing about this bike that i've been extremely impressed with over the 50,000 miles is just the speaker system i mean you can't hear it super loud if you're wearing a full face helmet on the highway but pretty much any scenario other than that it's banging like it's great for a stock stereo i mean you get all sorts of heads turning and people noticing you um, it's, it's just extremely loud for a stock system i mean i don't even want to know if you stage three at what it's really going to be but for, for the purposes of just a normal normal biker the average biker like me is great so after 50,000 miles i mean i can really say i think that harley got the bars right for touring i mean don't get me wrong i love a good set of apes or t-bars um, on a street street bob uh, on a soft tail on pretty much any bike but on, on this street glide, I really love to ride it uh, with the stock bars, especially for distance. And I mean, I'm six feet tall, so it just the, the position allows me to kind of lean back a little bit and let my arms go fully out and kind of rest them. And so for long distance and stuff like that, when you're putting in, you know, 10 hour days, 12 hour days, having those lower bars actually comes in handy. So I actually like the height of the stock bars in the street glide. I've chose not to change mine just for that purpose since I put so many miles on this bike and beat it up. So let me just go ahead and give you a couple things I dislike about the uh, Rushmore Street Glide. Um, number one, and this is with every Harley Touring bike and pretty much every Harley bike I've ever ridden, the suspension is just, it's god awful. <laughs> like, it can make the smallest little bump feel like you just ran over a deer or something. It's, it's crazy just how bad that suspension is. If there's one thing they should upgrade, is definitely the suspension. It just can't handle anything. It's, it's terrible. Um, so <laughs> if you have a bad back, maybe the Street Glide ain't the best bike for you. So the main question everybody usually has uh, with a 50,000 mile review is, you know, is the bike durable? Is it going to last? Um, the answer is simple. Yes. I mean, cosmetically, the paint ain't holding up all that great. Um, it, it, the bike doesn't look perfect after 50,000 miles. It's been used and abused. 
and that's going to happen with any motorcycle uh, going that distance, especially on the highway through the deserts and stuff like that. But the engine, the transmission, the the radio, all the main components of the motorcycle, no problems. The wheels are straight. Everything is good. Everything, every system on this bike is doing exactly what it's supposed to do after 50,000 miles, and I'm satisfied with the product. I mean, I'm satisfied with with uh, the use that I've gotten out of it uh, per the money that I spent. So can't be mad at that so that's pretty much going to do it uh, overall after 50,000 I'm a happy customer I, I love my street glide I'm still gonna ride it probably another 50,000 shoot I got like another four years on my ESP so I might as well keep it so that's pretty much gonna do it for the 50,000 mile review appreciate you watching appreciate you listening drop a comment down below like subscribe do what you got to do it's your boy Plex the average biker y'all take it easy Lies, no more honesty, left me with no dignity. All this time.